Hi, I am Amani Saduddin from Apify Lab. Welcome to our channel. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified about our latest updates. We are going to be publishing lots of amazing videos on web and app development. And in this tutorial series, I'll be showing you a complete e-commerce app homepage design using Flutter. So let's get started. Here's the design I've collected from Uplab. And here I have a blank counter app already created. Now let's start coding. I'll be removing all the extra lines of code and start from scratch. So this line is to import the material library as it contains all the material design widgets. And then this line is the entry point of our app. Every Flutter app starts from the main function. Main function takes in run app with a parameter that's a class. It inflates this class and shows it up on the screen. Now we have my app as a stateless widget and it returns material app. Material app is like mostly the root widget of an app and it does a lot of behind the scenes works like theme configuration, navigation and all. So we have its home called my home page and it's showing an error because I haven't defined this class yet. So I'll be defining it in a new file. Let's create that. My home page dot dot. I'm going to copy this. I'll take a stateful widget here. And let's import the material library here as well. Okay, and return a scaffold. Scaffold is used to create a proper material layout. It is usually used as a frame for the page in an app and you can use only one scaffold per page. So now let's go to the main file and import this. And we're done, the error is gone. See, and we have a blank screen over here. That's because we haven't coded anything in the scaffold. We, have, we are not returning anything. Now, one thing we can do is remove this debug banner. Let's set it to false and it's gone. Now let's have a quick look at our design. So here we see there's an app bar with a title, a menu icon, then there's a search field, there's an image over here, there's a category selection box, there's this sliding image view, then there are grooming products cards, then there's a sale image view, which slides horizontally. There is another card view which is which shows trending products. Then there is a top brands list and we have a bottom navigation bar. So let's start with the app bar and the bottom navigation bar. Scaffold provides us with app bar and all so we can easily do it. Let's start. And you see our app bar appear. We just need to change the color, define the icon and text. And be picking the color with Pixie. And let's say color. So to use HTML color codes, 
say 0 x f f and paste the color see how the color changed now let's give it a title that will be a text saying a shop Okay, we need to center the title and add a leading icon. I'll say center title true and add a leading icon. I'll be using an icon button. Dot menu. And notice that it appears disabled as on pressed is null. I'll just return an empty function over here. And it's there. Next, let's add the bottom navigation bar. Scaffold also provides bottom navigation bar. This takes in lots of properties such as color, let's say it's white, let's pass on the items. And we can pass anything to this icon as these icons aren't built in so I have exported them and I'm going to use them as image I'm going to take a container let's set its height and width say 75 and a width of Supposing 45, let's give it child image. Which I've already defined. Okay, we're seeing this error because on adding a bottom navigation bar, we must have at least two items. So let's copy this and paste it to see what happens. Okay, then there's another exception that has been generated that every bottom navigation bar item needs a title but as we see in the design we have no title here so to fix that what we'll do is we'll use the title property and say it is a sized box dot shrink Okay, I've uh, placed it wrong. Should be outside the container and inside the bottom navigation bar item. Let's put it here as well. And now we have icons on the screen. Let's change this image. So this should be fail. I think I've saved it as sale icon. Okay, no worries. Let's check it out directly. Yes, it is. So let me copy this. 
and paste it again. How many icons do we have? We have five items here. We have got four, so we need another one. Then let's change the images. So now that we have all our bottom navigation bar items on screen, let's start styling it. So even though we have applied a color, it isn't visible because by default bottom navigation bar type is set as shifting. So let's change it to fixed. Let's say type bottom navigation bar type and fixed. 